out here on Elm Street at the Grace Fellowship Church, Pastor Nathan Branham. And Nathan, when you look out at a sanctuary that's empty and you normally want that thing to be full, get the feedback from a congregation, what's that feel like for a pastor? Well, I would just say, yeah, first of all, I mean, it kind of gives us the feeling and the idea, gives us a snapshot of what's going on in society. Uh, I would say probably most pastors right now feel a little unsettled, a little uneasy about the future. And so for me, it has really given me a heart for my people and an appreciation of what we do here every Sunday. You know, I, I know that, that if I'm battling fear, that my people are probably battling it just as much. And so it has really put some things in perspective for me, uh, appreciation for the fact that we get to worship freely and now that's just kind of, it, it's taken right away. So I think, I think while there's a lot of things that are going on that seem very negative right now, uh, I'm asking God and seeking God, what's your take on this? What's your perspective? And, and I'm starting to see a lot of positive come out of it. So in, in one more thing on that, and, and to kind of point this out again, that as a shepherd, uh, it's, it's helping me be more in tune with what my people are feeling and what they're saying. And now at the same time, it's been rather difficult because communication has sure. been drastically reduced. So what do you see happening the other side of this? I've asked every pastor I've talked to that as this thing tails off and people get used to watching you on television yeah. and it feels comfortable, sit at home and have a cup of coffee and, and watch you preach. <laughs> Yeah, well, but you know. where do you get the where do you get the the, the congregation where they, they get reengaged yeah. uh, in the body of Christ? Well, I, my hope is this, Bob. I, I I know that God's people will respond in the right way, and so I think what we may think or perceive or anticipate will work out negatively because you know the church had a hard time with numbers i mean the church body wide because like you said it's easy to sit at home and watch stephen furtick and eat popcorn or watch joel Osteen, whoever it is and not be involved in community but i think what we may see may be the exact opposite of that in saying you know i've had my alone time i've been quarantined i want i want to get back together and that's what i'm hoping for i'm hoping people will use this time as a time of self-reflection. Um, before this started, God was speaking to me about, Nathan, had you thought about this or seen that? I mean, both positively and negatively. And then once this is over, really start to do things the way that we should have been doing them before this.